what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The body of a 19-year-old Black Lives Matter protester was found dead alongside a 75-year-old woman in Florida. Police said that they were victims of a homicide. Oliver Toyan Salute, 19 years old, was last seen on June 6 in Tallahassee, Florida, police said. On that same day, Toyan, who she's referred to by friends, shared a series of disturbing tweets about being molested by a black man who offered her a ride. She said the man, who she described to be in his mid-40s, came disguised as a man of God and ended up picking me up from nearby Saxton Street, she said. People took to Twitter early Monday and started sharing the R.I.P. Toyin hashtag after police reported discovery of two bodies in missing persons cases Saturday. Cops confirmed on Monday that Toyin's body was indeed found alongside Victoria Sims's. Victoria's body was identified by AARP Florida and described as a longtime volunteer. Police said they've arrested Aaron Glee Jr., 49 years old, in connection with both murders. It's unclear if Aaron Glee Jr. was the same person who Toyin said molested her on June 6th. Uh, their deaths are being investigated by police as homicides. Okay, off the bat fam, you know what it is. You do not hop into cars with strangers. You learn that when you're just a little kid. You learn that really fast. I don't know why people do this. To this day, people just hop inside of cars, take chances with all of the stuff that you hear. Why take the gamble? You know, I understand you're trying to get to where you're going. But why take the gamble? If it's just a slither of a chance, why take it with your life? You got one life to live. You can't even trust the people that you know. You can't even hop in the car with the people that you already know and trust that they won't harm you. But you're hopping into a car with somebody you don't even know? Come on, fam. We got to be smarter than that. We got to be way smarter than that. I feel sorry for this woman. I really do. But come on, fam. Come on. This is not trying to shame the victim or blame the victim. You know, all of the blame goes on this sucker, right? If he is indeed the person, Aaron Glee Jr., she said the guy was in his mid-40s. This guy is 49, you know. Could be him, may not be. Whoever it is, if it is him. You know, all of the blame goes on this sucker. But we got to be proactive in protecting ourselves. You know, if you leave your front door open, nobody has a right to walk into your house and take your television and walk out. It's your stuff. It's your house, right? It's illegal. They got laws against that, right? But we know that predators are all around us. So we have to be diligent in protecting ourselves, our loved ones, and our property. This is why you know, you got to pay extra money if you want to get surveillance on your house or you want to get alarms. You got to spend all this extra money because of this criminal element that surrounds us every day. Predators, they just sit back and wait on chaos. You got a situation where people are protesting and you got the coronavirus going on and people are distracted. A lot of people just out here trying to survive. They're not thinking about being taken advantage of. They're thinking about surviving. But the predators, they're always lurking. 
They're always watching. The predator can be wrong 99 times. All he need is that one chance. You can be right 900,000 times. You can do the right thing. That one time that you slip, it could be over for you. The one time that you don't pay attention, it could be over for you. The predators don't sleep. They don't sleep at all. How awful, family, for these women to die at the hands of a dude who used God to commit such a heinous act. Talk about a wolf in sheep's clothing. R.I.P. Toyin, R.I.P. Victoria. No more talk. What the talking about?